All right, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the live stream. It is Monday, April eighth, twenty twenty four, and as you may have heard in the background and seen on your screen, I've got a couple special guests with me today. Hi. That is Morgan. Morgan and Avery are off from school this week. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, Morgan? I'm doing good. You're doing good? You ready to play some Red Dead today? Yep. Yeah? I'm really excited because I've been asking to do this for a long time now. Yeah? And it sounds like your sister's excited in the background, watching whatever she's watching. Yep. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Mommy says howdy, howdy. Lady Outlaws, how's it going? The Walls Lounge, how's it going? Survived Helldivers 2, nice. So, uh, Morgan, go ahead and hit the down button on your D-pad. Just make sure you don't get kicked out while we're doing our initial setup here. So getting set up, everyone. Uh, I'm going to share the link out to a number of Discord channels. But yeah, Morgan's here today. We're going to be doing some dailies. Going to be doing some riding around, the usual. But we've got a special guest with us. Morgan is here. Hillbilly, Johnson, Monet, welcome to everyone coming in. As you guys are coming in, don't forget to hit the like button for me. It is much appreciated. What happened to Discord? There we go. What were you going to say? You might hear Avery in the background. Yeah, Avery, Avery's having blasts in the background right now. She's just watching Coco Melon and Bebe Finn and all that other stuff that she loves to watch, but... Try to keep the volume down on that stuff as much as possible because we don't want to get a copyright. <laughs> you might need therapy after playing all that Helldivers? Dude, I, play, I played uh, Forbidden West for seven hours yesterday. A game I've played multiple times through all the way, platinumed and everything. It's okay to play video games for long stretches. You just got to make sure you're also getting outside. Don't do too much of any one thing. <laughs> Yeah, I so I started playing. I think like I don't know, around five o'clock maybe. I played for seven hours yesterday. You were asleep for most of it. <laughs> I finished at like one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she doesn't actually have a channel per se. We just call her Morgan Plays. I don't know. We thought that was a creative name at the time. No, it doesn't sound weird. Oh, yeah, well, that's, I mean, she's excited, so. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some dailies. Under general, we have five burdock roots picked, three cooked seasoned pork, one finish a showdown and shootout series, two herons skinned, three non-player enemies killed with a maximum gun, three non-player enemy hat, sh hats shot off, and two pelicans plucked. Bounty Hunter, two bounties brought in from the Moyne posters, one bounty completed without killing an enemy or bounty target, two bounty targets tagged with tracking arrows, trader, 20 carcasses donated within 10 minutes, one Crips special camp stew recipe completed, and two resupply missions completed. Collector, three arrowheads found, five bird eggs found, three collectibles found with a shovel. Moonshiner, one moonshine bar changed to core. Two Moonshine Bar, Dance for Two Minutes. Two Moonshine Bar, Drunken Player Interaction. Naturalist, seven crafted or cooked at a wilderness camp. One Don't Kill an Animal for 24 in-game hours. Two Sedated Animals Revive. So it's just going to be a, a mixed bag of dailies today. I'm not going to pay too much attention to seven for seven, nine for nine. We got Morgan here. I just want to try and do some fun stuff with her. I think we should get started with a Moonshine and Trader delivery that will free us up to be able to do our resupplies. But for now, let's go over. This is your camp. I need to go to my tent. Did I see what? Crips is being really disrespectful because he was talking over you. Oh, Crips? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he always does that. Crips is talking over me. The uh, tailor talks over me all the time. I took my guns off to get a good picture. Uh, no, that's not what I want. I want my bolt on my back. And then I would like, I think, I guess we could leave the rolling block there for now. Uh, 
All right. Um, let's go. I'm going to go to the Moonshine Shack, and I'll pull you in. Yeah, you can definitely come. I, I want you to come with me. I'll pull you in when I get over there, though. Don't fast travel, even though it's free. I'll just pull you right in the shack. Are we going to get out and see the eclipse? Yeah, maybe at some point. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, though. I'll probably just go outside and stand out there, right? We're not going to look at the sun. But it would be cool to see it be dark at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I think. A lot of people, like, all the places are sold out of eclipse glasses. Exactly. A lot of people are asking for eclipse glasses, but they're all sold out. You're in the main path? Nice. Yeah, we're not quite in the main path of it. Uh, maybe a couple hours north of here we could have gone and, and been in the center of it, but I'm content to see whatever it is, 90%, I think. Well, for us, it'll be like a half. It'll be like 90%, but we're not in what they call the path of totality, so it won't be a total eclipse for us. But it will be for some people. All right, we're just waiting for Morgan to get over here. Actually, you know what we can do? There's a bootleg mission. We can go shoot some guys. Goodbye. So if you want to head over out the exit there and go down the hill to the right, make sure you got your guns out. I probably don't need a tonic up between the two of us, but I will. <laughs> nice. I might actually go throwables here. We need throwable kills. I need throwable kills. That's what I'm working on now. I got all my shotgun headshots on Friday. Or Thursday, whatever day it was last week. Someone in the chat just mentioned tomahawks. And here we are. How did this guy not even hear me? What are you doing? We're supposed to be killing these guys. He's hanging me out the dry here. That might be set it around. You might have a varmint rifle on. Ch switch your guns. Remember, use the use the shotguns, the sawed-off shotguns. Here, get this guy. Come on. Over here. Over here. He's off his horse. He shot his horse. I think. Where are you going? Back this way, hon. Can we save you this one or no? There you go, get him. Get close to him. There you go, nice job. Alright, let's loot him up. Sorry, you're getting used to playing again. Oh, my tomahawk's right there. Can I pick it up? Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry about what more Avery's doing. There's some bodies to loot, huh? You should take some, the character looks like maybe she needs something to eat. See how that heart is red over there? In the bottom left hand corner, you want to make sure that's either yellow or white. Anytime that goes red, you're going to be 
going down more often. So you want to make sure you stay healthy. You can either come with or stay here and I'll pull you back into the shack. Whatever, whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah. alright, I'll pull you in. So check your guns real quick. Because you... Uh, yeah, so don't use the one that's all the way... No, hold that one down again. The one that's all the way to the left, don't use that one. No, that's your fist. That one you can use. Don't use that one, okay? That's your varmint rifle. And you have sedative rounds loaded. You can call out your horse, and, and don't do it right now, but you, you could call out your horse and switch it out. But what I want you to do is, on the delivery we're about to do, use the down gun. Yeah, yeah, that's your bolt action rifle. It's the strongest gun you have. If we're in close combat like we just were, then you use those little ones, those little sawed off shotguns. But for what we were just doing, or for, for what we're about to do, yeah, use that gun. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it is too bad you can't make them shoot one another. I um, actually I was playing Forbidden West last night, and there's a way that you can use berserker arrows that makes the machines go crazy and start attacking each other. In some cases, it makes the bandits and stuff start attacking each other, too. It's, it's a pretty cool feature in, in a lot of games. All right, so stay there. Actually, yeah, go back outside. That's fine. Yep, you're fine. I'm going to start this moonshine delivery, okay? Hello, Z. You have arrived. Bon. You are uh, ready to drive, uh, yes? Our clients uh, uh, are a little impatient for sure. We wish to make a good impression. Uh, these customers have shown they have some uh, good taste. Their palate is simple, of course. But given their lack of culture, uh, I have to admit that they have chosen well. These uh, jugs uh, will arrive uh, quickly and in one piece. Yes. Hey, wagons. Come hop on. Oh, other side. And then just push triangle. Good. Take out your bottom gun. Yep, good triple action rifle. We probably won't need it, we're just going right to Quaker's Cove, which is right down the road. We technically don't need to deliver moonshine today, because it's not a daily, but it'll help you get a little money and XP. And I want to make sure we did the moonshine before we do the trader, because if you do the trader and then the moonshine, it'll bug out on you. But they're letting us go, so you don't need to actually shoot anybody. Pretty easy moonshine delivery. I suppose. Easy peasy. I think under the line stream, can we maybe go to start the thing and do? Maybe. We'll see. Alright, so you got a little money, a little XP. I got a little more money, a little more XP because it was my moonshine. Let me go up here. I'm gonna go back to the moonshine shack and start another batch. Do you remember how to open a wilderness camp? Okay, don't do it just yet, because I, I'm still here. But when I leave, it'll open it up for you. So if you set up a wilderness camp and go back to our actual camp, I'll meet you there in just a minute, okay? Okay, can I do it now? Yeah, go ahead. I saw your character ranked up yesterday, just sitting in the...
catalog. Really? Yeah, you're at 153 now. Because you got credit for not killing an animal or something. I don't know, you got oh, some kind of daily done just sitting there. You got just enough XP to rank up. So go to, yeah, go to camp. And I'll be there shortly. Mm, this will put airs on your face, yes? Uh, hey Adrian, how's it going? Thomas. Welcome. Now we must be patient. Hello. Hello. <laughs> A good saying, huh? Yeah, grab grab one of those. Uh, you want to use the right there? Yeah, here, hold on, I got it for you. You got it. Just take a little one. Okay, pull the rest of that off of there. Good. All right, I'm going to, before I head to camp, oh, I can't get a campsite now, go figure. I guess we'll go up to Manzanita Post. Um, once you're done blowing your nose, clean your guns. Okay. Get ready for the delivery. Do you want to clean your guns? Go, go a little ways outside of camp. I don't think it's going to let you clean it right there. You can try it, but I don't think it'll let you clean it right there. Um, so hover over the, go to the down gun, right? And then push the right joystick in. There you go. Yep, looks like cleaning it. And then you have to hit square. I'll do mine as well. Mine doesn't really need to be cleaned. Yours does, though. It's super dirty. Cool. Alright. I'm gonna go talk to Crips, and we'll get the delivery started. Actually, you know what? We need to maybe make special Crips stew today for daily. Let me see if I have the ingredients for it. I do not. Come over here and see if you have the ingredients for this. You see where my character is? Uh, put your gun away. For now. Yep, good. Come right over here. Hold triangle. Oh yeah, you have it. Nice. Hit X. Good. Now you got credit for a daily. So then, um, back out of that by hitting circle. And then hold square. And then hold R2. And I'm going to start our delivery. The sound effects are for eating. <laughs> uh, let's do long distance. You know, All right. I really feel like a new man. All these long dormant passions surging through me once. Yeah, the kids have off school. I'm off work, but I'm always off work. Could you go make a sale? It'll be a bit of a journey, I'm afraid, but the buyer's offering. But the wagons back then really did number on one's back. Yeah, me too. Zero suspension, right? They probably didn't even know anything about suspension back then. All right, so Morgan, come over to the wagon. you're on, take that bottom gun back out. Your bolt action rifle, good. And we'll see if enemies start chasing us. If they start chasing us, you start shooting them, okay? You might want to take a tonic too if you have one. I don't know if you have one. If you don't, then it's not big deal. That yeah, no, don't do that one. Hit R2. No, hover over that, but hit R2. Yeah, take that one. That's good. Did she take it? I don't think she actually took it. There you go. Yeah, keep yourself elevated. Hey, Key, how's it going? Welcome. Howdy, howdy. Hello, Dean. Monday is going good so far. Still a little early to tell how the rest will be, but. <laughs>
doing good, thanks. We, uh, the girls have today off, so Morgan's here with me. Avery's in the other room, just kind of chilling, watching Coco Melon and other things on her tablet. So, oh, she has a TV too. Look at her dual screen in it. I don't know. Are we gonna get enemies or not here? Oh, looks like maybe not. Yeah. So, um, give it another like few seconds here, and then you can put your gun away. And just enjoy the ride. And then when we get closer, you're gonna take out your smaller guns. Because we're gonna be in a closer range with these guys once we get over there. So if you wanna use your sawed off shotguns, I'm gonna use throwing weapons like I did on that revenue agent roadblock. Yeah, you can go put your gun away and just tap L1. Or if you wanna switch up to the, your up guns now, yeah, just do that. It's not a bad idea. But yeah, now you just sit back and relax and enjoy the ride over to Rig Station. Yep. Yeah, we'll do probably a couple hours today, maybe three tops. We're not going to be a big long stream like crazy, but tomorrow, because you guys are going out, you'll be with mommy and Nana all day. That is going to do a long stream tomorrow. Try to do a long stream. We'll see if YouTube co cooperates tomorrow. But there's potential for like. 12 hour stream tomorrow you will but you know technically YouTube is for people who are over 18 years old so you've still got 10 more to go but you already are set up right you have your little login and ID right that we use for you it's not technically a YouTube channel but the thing is, anybody that has access to YouTube could potentially have a YouTube channel. They just need to start uploading videos and, or go live. I know, I know. But, well, right. Well, you're talking to people who are logged into YouTube is really the, what's going on there. So, but yeah, once you're old enough, you will have your own YouTube channel that you can use and post your gameplay videos to and everything. You got on yesterday? Nice. Pick a lot of Charlotte. Nice. Very nice. Uh, is it 13? I don't know. It, 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 maybe it's 13 to use it, 18 to post videos. I, I don't know. I know it's not 8. <laughs> I know she's got a ways to go either way. And who knows? It might differ, it might differ by country. So you get a little money on XP out of this too. It might actually rank your character, but hit, um, when you pick up the controller, tap L1 for me. Actually hold L1. Yeah, see you're at 154. 1400 XP, you need almost 9,000 to rank up today. We might get you ranked up today. We're gonna see what we can do about that. My character's name? I call him Big Tex, which is just kind of a thing I did when I first set it up, not realizing that it really mattered. And I don't think it really does matter. They make you they make you give it a name when you first log in, but you can always change it and I mean you can make it like one, two, three, four, A B C. <laughs> okay, well we can change it. Like it's not really you can just call, start calling her whatever you want to call her. Like, you don't even need to change it in the system. It's not, like, it's not really tied to anything. It's not really that important. We just picked a name that day because the rest of the character creation can take a long time. You don't want to sit there thinking about a name for three hours. You got a lot of other stuff to do, like making eye colors and stuff like that. 18-year-olds to get monetized? Yeah, maybe. Hey, Kratos, how's it going? What was that? 
wonder if that cord is starting to go on that controller. Uh, let's get ready. You got your guns out already? Good. I can't take my weapon out yet because I'm using throwables and you can't have throwables on the wagon. Alright, so we're coming up on these guys as we get closer, start shooting them, okay? I'll run somebody over, actually. Alright, goods are delivered. Hop off the wagon. Start shooting. Why did I not throw the wet the tunnel? Oh, that's just a regular guy. Oh, you got three non-player enemies hats shot off. Nice, you just got a daily. Look <laughs> at you doing dailies. Without even me telling you. Right in the hand. Oof. You can go up there. You don't have to stay on the ground. The closer you can get to the enemies, the better, Morgan, because that kind of gun is a short range gun. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah, I saw you. Oh, no, I wanted to. Yeah. Shoot him! Shoot him! <laughs> that would have been great! I had you on my screen as I was beating the crap out of the guy. You were behind me with your gun. It would have been great if you shot him and blew his head off. It was great anyway. It looked cool with you in the background there, but yeah. Alright, let's loot him up. I need to find my tomahawks. Otherwise, I gotta go and buy new ones. And then, once we're done looting, we're gonna go to camp and we'll do a resupply. That one's too toasty, too crispy. Sasquatch Man, gift and a membership. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. And congrats, Adrian. I'm going to go up the hill so we can't find my tomahawks. If you want, you can go to camp whenever you're ready. Set up a wilderness camp. And fast travel to actual camp. What are you going to do? I'm going to ride. You're not going to ride to camp. It's all the way across. The, it's halfway across the map. Are these guys all down there? I came up here for nothing. Yeah, just set up a wilderness camp and fast travel. It's free. It's free this month. And it was in February, too. I know, last time you played. Oh, there's one. I found a tomahawk. Sweet. Oh, I see another guy with one. Or I thought I did. Yeah, nice. Got, got two of my three tomahawks back. Sweet. Let me just grab some stuff here. Welcome back. I don't think I used a ton of ammo just now, but... No, likes are good, too. Likes are good, too. I appreciate any and all support. It's just some people are in different financial positions where they can financially support the channel as well, so... It's all good, though. You killed what? You did? Nice. <laughs> You're going to bed. <laughs> Your work's done for the day. <laughs> oh, I don't have. How come I can't set up a camp? You just set one up right here, didn't you? And you traveled the way already, so it's not like you're holding me up. This game is ridiculous sometimes. Up here? Like up by Gus? Nope, didn't work for me. 
Uh, Rockstar, why? You know what? I wonder if it's because I have my guns out. That shouldn't matter, but let's see. I know. That's why I said it shouldn't matter. Yeah, I got the true legend in here riding with me today. Should we trade in a griefer for a red dead legend? Who's also still a griefer. There we go. You can have an art canvas. I'll let you know in a second. Go over to um, where Crips is sitting. See the little tent with the dollar sign on your mini map? It's actually right over by next to me. Right here. Stand right here. Come over next to me. To your left. See where I'm standing? Yeah. yeah. Come over to, towards here. And then you should have a prompt. So hold triangle. Yes, take a look. And then hit your theme. So hit X. Okay, well... Once you get back into it, then hold triangle again. Key okay, reminder everyone hit that like button. Appreciate it. Subscribe, turn notifications on. Yes, yes. Please, please, and please. X. Go down to where it says traveling opulence. It's 800 bucks. So money well spent in your case. There you go. See? So just hold the X button down. You could have the easel in your camp. Yeah, that's the one you have. That's the bounty hunter role. Collector role. Trader role. I don't have that one. No, you don't have that one. You only have the... You have two of them and then the bounty hunter. You have like three. So pick whichever... You like that one? Yeah. Alright, hold X to buy it. Hey, Minnie. How's it going? Welcome. Braytech, how are you? Where is Braytech? I don't even see Braytech in here. Someone said, cheers, Braytech. I think Sasquatch might have pulled a me and got Kratos confused with Braytech. <laughs> I do the same thing, man. I see the BRA and they're, um, from a distance, their profile pictures look very similar. So I do that all the time. All right, let's go. Did you buy your, you got your camp all situated the way you wanted it? Your tent? You know where to find me. Circle the back out. We're going to do a resupply now because now we have room. All right. I have room in my... Actually, we need a resupply. We need a daily. That's what it is. We want to get this daily done. All right. Are you ready? We're ready to go. All right, I'm going to do a resupply mission. You know, I like to keep my ear to the ground. And Long morning. Yeah, like I said, man, it happens to me, too. All right, hey, start riding. Some other traders might have broken down Got work to do. Delivery run. And I'd hate for them to get robbed out there. But, I mean, these things happen, right? Follow the yellow line. Follow the yellow brick road. More enemies for me to kill with tomahawks. I did. Have you ever seen the Wizard of Oz? Yeah? Say yes or no? Yeah? That's Daddy's, one of Daddy's favorite movies. No, even not. More, more so as adult. I didn't watch it until I was like 13, 14 years old, probably.
behind you. <laughs> Alright, grab a bag, bring it back to the camp. Yeah, that's right, I can clean these guys up. Unless you want to shoot some guys. It's fine too. time limit on the resupplies today, so we'll just, as long as we get two of them done, does it matter if we get them done in five minutes or not? I kind of want to look for my tomahawks. I'm already down one, I don't want to lose another one. There we go. Dang, you're already back at camp. Oh yeah, the camp's only right on the road. It's actually a good camp for this free supply. something when you get to camp that way you remember that I told you about that heart I caught you don't want that to be red you want it to be yellow or white if it's red you're gonna go down a bunch more times which is fine I'll keep reviving you but I imagine you want to stay in the fight as long as possible right and then also well done. once we're out of this cutscene make sure that you uh, grab some ammo from the ammo crate Lockbox. Oh no, you have to do your taxes. Boo. We did ours already. We did ours a while back, actually. Right? A couple months ago? A month, month or two ago? Um, March. Yeah. Couldn't have done it in May. It's not May yet. So come right over here, this blue box. I noticed you, you were running a little low on ammo. And so for some reason, you got your environment rifle back out. So make sure you put that away. But yeah, if you come over here, to, uh, hold L2, put your gun away, otherwise it's not going to give you the prompt. Yep, go closer to it, there you go, hold L2. Nope, oh, that's R2. Put your gun back away. Hold L2 this time, and then, oh, pay your bounty first, hold circle. And then hold triangle. And then when the, that holds square. Good job. Hey Adam, how's it going? You gonna use the bathroom? You're good. Just uh, put your character in in your catalog. You know, the usual. Go to the the spot in the campfire and and put it in the catalog. Uh, other way, other way. This is a stew pot. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Huh? Yeah. I think it's probably the same fire. Where am I going? You got me running around like crazy. Alright, I'm gonna go try and find some burdock root. Start doing some general dailies, but yeah. I'll be right here, okay? Just come back whenever you're ready. 
Let's see if we can't find some on the map today. Probably not on this side of the map, really. Up by Moonstone. Looks like maybe there's some at Hobby's Bethel. I doubt we'll find a ton of it there, though. Two or three, maybe. I know there's a ton of it over on the Dakota River on the other side of the, the Heartlands, but I was hoping there'd be some close by. You guys probably hear Avery in the background. She's excited today to have no school. There's really nowhere. I mean, I could go to Valentine. You know what? We got to go out. The duck eggs are over at Owen Gila today. We need those for daily. We need bird eggs, but it's always easiest, I think, to grab the duck eggs. So since we have to go to Owen Gila, we'll go to Strawberry, maybe? Yeah, I don't have any duck eggs. All right, cool. So I'm gonna fast travel over to Strawberry. Okay. We're gonna grab, there's uh, duck eggs there today, which is a daily to get bird eggs. So head over head over to her, the fast travel post in camp and then fast travel to Strawberry. You'll probably beat me over there because I'm just not going that fast. Um, so How long have I been streaming for? 42 minutes. Well, it's close to an hour. I'm tired. You're tired already? Yeah. We just started. I can be tired already. I'm tired. <laughs> you go to the weapon locker, you don't get knocked out of it, even if your camp gets attacked or kidnapped by her. Yeah, I usually go to, um, like, just the wardrobe, but... If I'm if I don't have to worry about being attacked, like in a private lobby, I just put myself in the catalog right in the little. There's a, a spot in between the red bench and the log that you can sit on. That uh, is is pretty good about not getting kicked out. What? Oh, is she? Oh, she's watching her show. That's why it sounds so loud. She's sitting right there. She's not sitting on the couch. After we collect the bird eggs, can I do my own thing? Yeah, you, you, you don't even have to collect the bird eggs. You can do your own thing right now if you want. Totally up to you. Okay, you're gonna buy a new horse? Or you're gonna change to a different horse? Well, you can do that. You don't need to go to Sound the Knee for that. Open up your map. I'll show you where you can go. Go right here. See the little horseshoe? It's right there in Strawberry. It's right next to you. So, I mean, you could go to Sound the Knee and go to the stable there, or you can go to that stable, whatever you want to do. I just wanted you to know that there's another stable right there close by that you could go to. Okay. Okay, alright, so then get out of the map. You don't even need to do all that. Just get out of the map. Circle circle it back out. But I want to ride there. You're going to ride all the way south of me? I think that, okay. I mean, if you're already tired, that's going to make you more tired. It's a long ride. You're right next to a fast travel post, so you can just fast travel to Saint Denis, and it doesn't even cost you a dime. Right, because you just came into Strawberry. There's a fast travel post right up the road. And then, yeah, just fast travel to Saint Denis. You, gotta, you can't be riding that fast by a fast travel post. It takes you out of the menu when you do that.
wolves. Well, these aren't real wolves. I would never kill a wolf in real life. I've never even seen a wolf in real life, so... <laughs> well, yeah, if they attacked me and I had a gun, I would do the exact same thing I just did now, but... I, well, listen, there's probably never going to be a situation where I'm in the same spot as wolves. At least not truly wild wolves. I know. <laughs> they look like dogs when you skin them. What? Oh, yeah, reset that. Huh. Morgan, uh, hold hold the little, uh, this button here, the little button. Quick. Uh, there. Nope, missed it. Go down to progress. Morgan just got a thousand miles ridden on a horse. I don't think you've reset that award before, because I think I saw a belt buckle come in. Uh, go over to where it says awards. Nope. X, please. Over to where it says awards. X again. Then go over to where it says travel. Because that's a travel award. That says trader. So close. Keep going. Right there. Hit X. Then go all the way to the one that has the horseshoe on it. And then hold square. And yeah, that's the first time you've reset that award. So you get a little bit of gold for that. Circle the back all the way out. What about that, one? that one can't be reset. I think that's like for visiting every town. Go down and see what it says. Down to. Yeah, visit every town. Yeah, you can't reset that one. Some wards can be reset, some wards cannot. So you got 500 XP, 0.4 gold, just for riding your horse around today. Oh, we have a legendary animal. Legendary beaver. I haven't seen this thing in forever, man. I don't think I need to do anything with it for daily. What kind of horse are you going to get? Are you going to pull out one of your other horses or are you going to buy a new one? Gonna buy a new one? Maybe. Do a little shopping. A little horse shopping. What is that? Oh, vehicles. Yeah, it's like your wagons and stuff. Can I see what the horses I have? Yeah, so hit X. And then hit X. It says manage owned horses. So that's when you want to hit X on. And then it shows you all your different horses. Alright. Got our duck eggs. Bird eggs. Daily complete. Uh, let's see. We were looking for burdock root over this way too. I think there's some over here. Maybe not. This is all like mint and stuff. Yeah.
Where is... Blackout and Broom are like... Like, October and November and August type of horses that I use. Yeah, I don't really remember. Well, because you were buying them... Like, you were buying, like, the... Um, roll horses at the time. Which, there's no roll bonus this month, so you don't really get anything. So, Alright, this should be my fifth bird of crew. So there we go. Yeah, if you want. You gotta buy a stall first. So go down to the one that says unowned stall. Like the one that's empty. And then so 750 bucks just to buy the stall. So hold X if you want, that's what you want to do. Okay, now that you have the em now you have an empty stall, so it says buy horse to push X. And then it'll bring you through all the different kinds of horses you can look at. So like you have to go in though, because it's so, like that one says riding. You have to go in there because there's different kinds of riding horses. So hit X to look at it. There's your Kentucky Saddler. There's a Morgan horse in there, and then there's a Tennessee Walker. So yeah, just go through the different horses. See if you can find one you like. Well, because that's the breed of horse. Breed of horse called uh, a Morgan. All right, so we need to cook some seasoned pork. I doubt I have that on me, and I doubt I can get a camp here. Well, so then when you go into the Morgan horse, there'll be like six different kinds, maybe three depending on the horse breed. So hit X. There's four in this case. So there's that one, which is kind of like reddish pink. There's that one, which is kind of like brown. Go down one more. That one's a little different brown. And then there's a tan one, Palomino. Okay, so then hit circle to back out. It'll bring you back to the other horse breeds. Like Tennessee Walker. and then, Yeah, then you go back out there too. Uh, the Superior Horses are on sale. That's probably going to be... I don't even know if it's in the Newswire which one it was. Hit circle for me real quick. You can go back to doing this in a minute. Go down to the one that has the red diamond. That means it's on sale. Hit X. Yeah, the Ravens are on sale. Hit X. I don't think it said that in the Newswire. Yeah, I see 29 gold for a stupid horse. That one's not bad, 600 bucks for a horse, or in this case, 200 bucks, 175 for a horse. But I don't particularly care for the Arabians. They're, they're too small for my character. It might look good for your character, but go back, do what you're doing. I just wanted to see which ones are on sale. I figured it was the Arabians. That's still a ripoff. That black Arabian for 29 gold is still a ripoff, in my opinion. White Arabian, cool girl hearse. Yeah, especially because it's on sale. I don't even think I have room for this at my camp. Ooh, that's a pretty horse. That's the uh, Andalusian. You like that dark red color? Yeah. That's the dark bay. There's a rose gray for 18 gold. Don't buy the gold one. That one? Uh, yeah, don't, yeah, don't buy that one. If you like the dark bay one, that's, keep it in mind. Dark bay... And delusion. I'll try to remember that for you. Alright. Crips. Huh? It's in the and the work horses? Yeah, okay. Alright, we got room for this. Thoughts are looking good. Donate. Well, well. You don't see one of these every day. Do they have like, a gray horse? A with, like, gray horse? Polka dots on it? No, there's no polka dots. I mean, you might get. Like some patches that look similar to polka dots, but not really. Just go through them all, see if you can find one that fits that. That's what I would do. But don't. Okay, so stop because what you're doing. Listen to me. You're on, you're you're only seeing one horse, right? So if you you're on the gypsy cobs, if you hit X to go in there, there's other color of those gypsy cobs. See. So make sure you do that. Those are ranked. The cobs are rank locked, the bottom ones, because you're not a rank 20 naturalist yet. That's what it was yesterday. You got naturalist rank up, too. I think you're like a rank 11 naturalist now. Not bad for somebody who hardly ever plays a game. <laughs> Morgan horse is so underrated with a good saddle. perfect horse fast as heck. Yeah, I like, the, I, like the, I like the look of the Morgans. I like the, um, again, that's another horse, though, I think probably too small for male characters. I think Blondie still has her original Morgan horse. 
All right, what was I doing? Oh, we needed to order some pork from the catalog. Well, we don't need to. We could always go hunt some boar, but for simplification of it, we'll just order some pork. You like that one? Yeah, get it. If that's the one you like. So, X. Uh, yeah, uh, now you have to... Wait, hold on. Do you want a male horse or a female horse? I know it's like a really tough question. <laughs> you know, I keep talk do you not know? Why don't you think... Try to think of a name for it first, and then you can decide. Yeah, try to think of a name for it first, then you can decide whether you want to be a male or a female. All right, let's season up some pork. Hey, you want it to be a girl. Okay, so uh, hit either right or left on the D-pad to change it from male to female, and then hold X when you're ready to buy. Mandy? Alright, so do you know how to spell that? Um. Yeah. And. Yeah. And then D? Uh, e D. N first. Then D. And then why? Done. Done? Mandy. Alright, so now you have to go down and find Mandy. And uh, hit X to upgrade. Because you can't ride it without a saddle, so now you have to buy a saddle. So hit X. And go through, and you can either take one of the saddles off your existing horses, or you can go down to where it says add saddle, see how it's grayed out, and you can buy a new saddle for her. That looks good on her. Okay, but do you want to take it off of Pinkie Pie, or do you want to buy another one that looks just like that? Take it off of okay, so then just uh, hit triangle, which will swap. What's it to be? Now hit circle. Uh, hit circle again. And now hit triangle to make Mandy your active horse. So triangle. Yes, just tap it, tap it. Yep, good, now she's your active horse. And if you circle the back out, your character will ride her out of the stables. And you're level one bonding. So, it's a good looking horse actually. She went with the Delgado saddle, for those of you who are wondering. She is tall. She's she got long legs. I probably wouldn't like that horse. I don't tend to like long-legged horses, but it's all good for you. Sell my garbage pelts to the butcher. Sell the pork back to the butcher. I figured you were going to go to your house. And we'll sell some wolf hearts to the butcher. I just saw 200 bonus XP there, so I'm assuming we're past the halfway point, and we can pin this. Let's do that. My father's out on a business trip, so... <laughs> business trip. A business trip to the Butcher and Roads. <laughs> hey, Ashes, how's it going? Appaloosa? Appaloosa has black polka dots. Oh, that is right. That's actually, that's right, Adam. I'm surprised I didn't remember that. Yeah, there's actually a, a white Appaloosa that has black polka dots. I always call it domino in story mode, because it looks like a domino me. I cannot believe I forgot that. It's actually my, one of my favorite horses, if not my favorite horse from story mode. Because it's free! <laughs> you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> you get it after you do a mission. If you're smart enough to pick it up. This is a Breton. Steel gray Breton. This is my favorite horse in online. But in story mode, that Appaloosa that Adam's talking about is, is probably my favorite one. Um, I have another Breton, and I have all the roll horses, like the collector roll horse, naturalist roll horse, trader roll horse, and a ton of other horses. All right, herons skinned. Let's see if we can find some herons.
that's actually a really good looking horse. And I like the way um, it kind of matches your character's outfit. Not closely, like how I would do it, but not too many people do it that way anyway. So. Okay. Okay. Well, another thing we gotta do too is I do not like the way that black uh, tent roll looks on the back of that saddle. It throws the whole thing off for me. I would I would recommend changing your bed roll to something brown. But we can yeah, like you said, as a stream today, you and I can dive in on some of that stuff. Maybe while I'm editing Forbidden West footage, we can look at your horse saddle and your outfit. Get all that stuff upgraded. Let's see if my herons are over here in my heron spot. Something over there. Yeah. Really? Why am I not able to kill the super thing? Want some herons to skin? Or no. Want some gold? I don't want the drink. Probably not good. What happened? How come the one I shot it like four times and it lived? It's ridiculous. You're my brother. No. I met you. Yeah. No, I'm your father. We've talked about this. Why did my horse run into the <laughs> the gator infested water? Punisher, man, he ain't what he used to be. All right, so those are two herons skinned. Father always told me I can do anything and buy the house, but do not, but do not destroy the house. That's right. Make it fall down. That's right. And kill me. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's go get our pelicans if we can. Uh, Manzanita. I don't know if you're gonna get her in the house. You can definitely get her in the yard. Have you gotten a horse in there before? Do you remember? Yeah? I know you've done some crazy things in this game, but I don't think getting a horse inside a house is one of them. <laughs> Moonshine's complete. I won't be able to do it though, because I did my trainer already. And that's just fine. No? Can't get the horse in there? I have an idea. You have an idea? Are you going to go in and whistle for her? It's a good idea, but I'll be surprised if it works. The game will even tell you that your horse can't reach you or something. Yeah. What is on the... the does she go in the bathroom on the front step there? <laughs> Looks like an oil slick. I caught the tail end of that. You crash into that? Yeah. You already, your horse is like an hour old. <laughs> like five minutes old, but an hour game time. And you're already beating up on her, huh? Oh, I thought you were going to go up that way. 
All right, there's our pelicans. I'll worry about these other general dailies in a little bit. We got to shoot off some enemy hats. We got to get some enemies killed with a maximum gun. Maybe we'll find a hideout. And then we just need to finish a showdown and a shootout series. I'll do it a little later in the stream. Uh, let's see, we did four roll challenges. Can we do a shootout the that won't count. So when it says a shootout series, it means like it's a it's player versus player type mode. So we're definitely not doing that with you. Revive some sedated animals. Craft seven at a wilderness camp. Is it gonna give me a wilderness camp? There's no way, right? It's just not gonna tell me that. It's not gonna give it to me. That's fine. That's cool. I don't mind getting notifications. <laughs> hey, Ambrose, how's it going? I don't even know what I have to craft. What can I craft at a wilderness camp right now? What ingredients do I have? No. Do this. One, two, three. Hold on, Morgan. Four, five, six, and seven. What are you gonna say? Okay, cool. Thank you. What was it an heirloom? I think so. I'm not sure. Okay. I did not check it. You didn't, you didn't grab it? Yeah. Oh, then open up your satchel. Hold uh, right, the right button on the D-pad down. No, you didn't grab it. It's not in there. It should be in your recents if you grabbed it. I did grab it. Oh, you didn't grab Sorry, I thought you said you did grab it. Alright, uh, let's revive a couple. Hopefully we can find some small animals out this way. Some rabbits or something. Snake maybe. Something I only need to use a couple rounds on. Ideally. Abraham Lincoln? Is that the, at your house? Oh yeah, it looks like him with a high top hat, right? Oh, there's a snake. It does kind of look like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> he doesn't have the long beard though. Maybe he's shaved. Actually, it looks kind of like the mayor from story mode. This is my dad. I guess it oh. is your dad. Oh, did you just punch him? Did he punch you back? Look at this guy. Look at this guy panicked. That is hilarious. I gotta get this set up so that they can see what you're seeing. They can watch you do crazy stuff while I do dailies. <laughs> we'll have a nice old balance that way. <laughs> You had a great idea? Let's hear it. What do you got? You're not gonna tell me what your idea is? You're gonna show me? Why don't you just tell me? That way people in stream can hear what your idea is. Because they can't see your screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay, upstairs at the mayor's house in San Denis, yep. Oh, that's a good idea. You know, that's a daily sometimes. They call it jumping from a three meter height and landing on a horse. You might need to set her up a little closer in order to pull it off. I don't even think I take this sample, but I can revive it. Yeah, too many rabbit samples. 15 out of 15 coins, nice. Not an easy thing to do. We'll get into the coin search here a little bit later. Not too long from now. Oh my god! Why are you choking him? Hit circle to let go. No, hit the uh, square to let go. Never mind, he got out of there. Dude, you gotta leave people alone. You're, you're a little griefer. 
You're an NPC oh. griefer. I'm sorry, I'm trying to jump off the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I made it! I told you, yeah, relax, I told you you could do that. Alright, let's go up to the Moonshine Shack and do some Moonshine stuff. <clears throat> Where who is? They probably ran off there. You're lucky they're not reporting you to police. The law. Duh law. Arbaz, how's it going? Welcome. I'm giving you guys a tour. You're not giving anyone a tour. No one can see your screen. I'm giving you a tour. I don't, well, usually the person is there taking the tour. You gave me a tour last time, though. You're a little bit of a one-trick pony. You like the sound of the mayor's house, and that's about it. You need to expand your horizons. This game has a lot more to offer than one mansion. <laughs> um, You'd be great at, like, The Sims. <laughs> They've seen the mansion. Most people have seen me do these dailies. Yeah. Yeah. I'm do the hidden door trick. Have you seen this before? What? Watch. Bang. There's one. The game wants you to interact with other players when your character is drunk, but there's a little workaround for those of us who don't play with a posse. What? Yeah. You just come to this little door, you hold triangle and start spamming circle, and you get credit for a daily that you don't actually do. <laughs> there you go. See, I got gold. 4893 now. I know, right? That's super cool. Alright, uh, so we did our drunken player interaction. I'm going to go change my moonshine decor. You know, what about this? What about what? Since your imagination is great, Okay, then. I'll, I'll say what I see, and then they can imagine what... That's fine. Yeah, just gotta lead them through it. So, like, earlier, the reason why I corrected you is because you said, look at this, or whatever you said, you know. So, you know what I mean? So you have to be very descriptive about what you're doing. So if, when you if they can't see it. this front door, yeah. you see these four big pillars, mm -hmm. and then you see a... Chandelier. Mm -hmm. You see a chandelier. Good, good word use. Yep. And then on the left, we have you a see ready to go. My, my father's dad. Why don't you, why don't you describe him because they don't know what your father's dad looks like. He, so what's what's he wearing? He's wearing a suit. A suit. What colors? What colors? A suit. A white suit. What about what about his face is significant? You think? He likes. He he has a mustache. Yeah. And it's like and it's like uh. What well, is he? Is he smiling? No, he's no. Like sticking his tongue out. Like, no, that's not his tongue. That's his chin. <laughs> but he has kind of a they call it a scowl, right? So he's not really smiling. He looks like maybe he's not so happy. But back then, in this time period, they didn't really smile in pictures. Did you know that? Smiling in pictures didn't become a thing until later. That's why whenever you see like early pictures, everybody's just like this. <laughs> right? They're like, they don't, they don't smile. They have, they, their face is expressionless. In his case, he looks kind of upset about something. Maybe he lost some money in a, in a, a robbery that day. Um, and he has black hair. Okay. And then on the right side. Yeah. Who, who's this person? No, on the picture. Oh. The, the painting. This is my mother's mom. Not, not your father's mom? Wouldn't it be your father's mom? If this is your father's father's house? Why would your father's father have a painting of... Like, why would, why would grandpa have a painting of Nana in his house, right? Think it through. That's all I'm saying. Right. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't Grandpa more likely have a picture of Grandma instead of Nana? Yeah. My sister? Okay. Looking at herself? Okay. 
Okay. What else? Lots of paintings to talk about. Who's this guy? He was one of your dad's co-workers? What else? He was rude to you? How so? He was babysitting to you when you were two and he was rude? <laughs> Adam. You're glad he's dead now? Okay. <laughs> oh, you, oh, he's not just dead. You killed him. Alright. Go on. What's this guy got in his hands? That's different. Yeah, hey, he's got a cane. Um, this, so the co-worker I just talked about, that came from Oh, okay. I'm just gonna grab three arrowheads and then we'll be done with roll dailies. Bunch of chairs. Looks like they're getting ready yeah. to have a party. Yeah. But why do you think the chairs and the couches and everything are all pushed off the side? I have a list of new back home for you. At your dance studio? I was gonna say it's a nice room if someone wanted to have like a dance because there's a piano in the room next door, right? Yeah. So maybe somebody plays a piano and the cello and they have like little dance this group is, dances. This is a flower. Mm-hmm. Some kind of yellow yeah, flower, right? What color is the flower? See, that's how you can describe yeah. things to help people <clears throat> who aren't looking at what you're looking at right now. The yellow. And uh, what was it in? Is it in a? Are they just in a, in a field, or are they? It's in a vase. Okay. So see, that's all stuff you could have said because said these are instead of saying this is a flower, right? This is a painting of yellow flowers in a white vase. That's how you can be descriptive for people. Uh. Okay, I would say that's white. Get closer to it. These days ain't short. You still think it's blue? <laughs> but the table. Yeah, right, on, a, on a table with a blue tablecloth, right? That's something else you could have added to your description. What's this? What's this a painting of? Oh, where is the painting, first of all? Cave. No, no, no. Back up a little bit. So within the house, the painting is where? Help me visualize where this painting is hanging. There is a it's over the top of a fireplace, right? right? Yeah. Yes. And then there is also a chandelier. Another chandelier, yeah. Is it in a cave? Yeah, the painting is. Hold on. The painting is of people in a cave. Standing at the mouth of a cave. What else is going on in the painting? Get a little closer so we can see some details. Are they overlooking some water, maybe? Is there a waterfall there? Or is that the. It's like a stream or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a boat. There's a boat in it, so they're overlooking some kind of lake or maybe an ocean. And there's a boat. What's what's on the side walls of the cave? Some greenery. Some greenery, right? Maybe some hanging moss or something. Yeah. Yeah. And then what's the what's the, hold on? So go back up. What so like what's the what, what do you think the weather over the water looks like? It looks pretty cloudy, right? Like maybe a, a storm is gathering. Yeah. And maybe that's what they're doing. They're looking out at the storm saying, gee, thank God we're on land and not out on that boat. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is where my dance studio is. Yeah, your dance studio. Again, they can't see it, right? So you got to say, we're looking back at where the open room is with the chairs and the three-seaters. Now we're just running around in circles. You're gonna get dizzy and fall down. In first person, no less. Okay. Okay. What's up? What's next? What's the next stop on the mansion this tour? Is a actually rare? Brand new room? We got it. It, w it used to be our kitchen, but since our 
our chef moved away. Now we turned it into like a dining room. Okay. Why did the chef move away? Because his sister in California had his sister in California had um, his sister in California like her health wasn't that good. Oh, now. okay. His sister in California got sick, so he moved out there to be with her. Yeah. Help her out. Yeah. That's good. And then, then we have two seats. Yeah. Are those similar to the other seats? No. They're like single seats with red cushions, right? Describe it. Yeah. Right. So they're like they're like wood cushions. wood chairs, right? Wood yeah. chairs. There's like red cushion. Red cushion to sit on and red cushion to support the back. Yeah. And then Do you think that looks comfortable or no? I think it looks pretty comfortable. You can't sit in it, unfortunately. Yeah, and then there's some candles all over the room. Oh, what's, what's that over there? There's a couch. There's another fireplace? Yeah, there's a fireplace. Oh, wait. Is that fireplace on the back of the other fireplace? So it's like a shared chimney situation? Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? They don't do that anymore. They do that a lot back then. Welcome back, Adrian. And are you guys wondering what new chef is? What, what, what about the chef? New chef? What new yeah. chef is? A new, new chef. You got a new chef? After the other one moved to California to be with his sixth sister? Yeah. Um, she's coming today, but she's late. She's late on her first day? Yep. Jeez. I think you should think about firing that person. Hey, you can't be late for work on your first day. So, we actually have six paintings. Six? Ah, I see. Eight. Five on one wall and three on the other. And there's a million on the others. All right, what's that? Oh, we got wolves. Those are birds. You know what kind of birds those are? Um, and you know why it's important? Did we talk about this before? So those are called Carolina parakeets. Do you know where you find Carolina parakeets today? You don't. Because people killed them all. For their feathers. But it's important to this game specifically because in story mode, there's still a bunch of them left that you, as the player, can kill and be the one to make them go instinct, extinct. At your blood? Are they still extinct? Yeah. Once, it's, once something is extinct, it doesn't come back. Extinct means, like, gone completely forever. Just like dinosaurs. Just like dinosaurs, exactly. Saber two tigers. Wooly mammoth. Woolly mammoth. Tiger yeah. And the dodo bird. The dodo bird. Yeah. But yeah, those are Carolina parakeets. You can tell because they have the yellow and green, yellow, they yellow heads. Pretty. They are pretty. It's a pretty looking bird. Pretty bird. Mostly like their faces. I don't know why people like did their feathers. Well, yeah. People back then weren't as interested in conservation as we are today. Everybody just wanted to own feathery hats and leather bags and These leather so shoes. But I think looks like flowers. flowers. Yeah, yeah, looks like some flowers. White and red flowers. Pink. Yeah. And then there is this flower, and it's like yellow and... Looks almost like a what? Jellyfish. Jellyfish, or something you hold in your hand. That's not really fully out yet. I think it looks like an umbrella. Right? Looks like an umbrella, kind of. It's just if the umbrella was down, like you were getting ready to put it away. Yeah. But yeah, jellyfish was a good one. I like that. It looks like a jellyfish. Um, they're like blue, purple. Well, well we just switched out to a different picture. A different like, picture, different painting. Yeah. There's a blue, there's a blue, red, and like purple and pink flowers. Flowers? More flowers? And then... Why do you think there's so many paintings of flowers? Well, not. But I mean, okay. What about like? Do you think sometimes people take pictures of the outside and keep them inside with themselves so that they can think about the outside whenever they can't be out there, right? So maybe that person likes flowers and gardening, but they can't garden all day, so they want pictures of flowers to remind them of gardening. Maybe I don't know. 
But you had a good answer. I liked I liked your answer. These are things you think about. This is all made up what I'm saying. They know. But like Go ahead. So so that there's this like over oval painting. I don't know if it's a painting, maybe it's a picture, yeah, it's a picture. And Well, many... no, it's not a picture. Maybe. It's hard. I, I think it's probably more of a painting. Like we talked about, they didn't they didn't really take a ton of pictures back then. Pictures were still kinda new. So I think that's a painting. But that's fine. Go ahead and describe it. It's an oval. It's, it's an oval shape. It's an oval and it has red, yellow, and like there's one pink rose that's kind of like red and yellow, and yellow what? You never said red and yellow flowers. what? Flowers. And there's a ton of vines around. Yeah. So there's like Looks almost like a rose bush. Flowers. Yeah, lots of that. So that whole wall, there's five pictures there. Four rectangles and one oval, and all five are flowers. And that wall, too, well, that's the wall with the Carolina parakeets. There's, there's that should be it for my dailies. Yep, three collected found with a shovel. Three collected found with a shovel and three arrowheads. It's my last day, guys. It's 28, day 28. Tomorrow we're back to point one. So it's going to be an uh, interesting 12 hour stream with point one dailies. <laughs> Piano. And what's that in the background? Do you know what that is? That big instrument behind it? It's a clear note. Mm, starts with an H. Starts with an H. Ha. Ha. Harp? Have you heard that word before? Harp? Yeah. Yeah, that's a harp. Okay. Alright, we have these three general dailies to do. Finish showdown. And then non-player enemies so we're gonna start our coin search up go around find some hideouts while Morgan describes the mansion in San Denis to us we're gonna start in tumbleweed like we always do all right oh now we got lots of cool stuff talk about those paintings huh nine nine paintings Do you understand the difference between a picture or photo and painting? And why it's important? So, like a picture you take with a camera. A painting is something that you would paint or draw. Okay? So in this case, you... I don't see anything that looks like an actual picture to me. Those all look like paintings. Like, even go back to the lady. The first one that you were looking at. You think that's a picture or a painting? All right, because somebody uses it with like a paintbrush, right? Yes. So I would so, say I would say the, I would stop using the word picture and start saying painting so for this yeah. type of stuff. Painting. Yeah. Um. Um. I have no clue. Some lady. Yeah. Looks like uh, honestly, it looks like. Me. No. Well, so she has like a bonnet. And she looks very much like uh, an early settler. So I don't know if she's... That looks like Harriet from... Um, I, don't, I don't think it looks like Harriet. Harriet. I don't think it looks like Harriet. But it looks like somebody who maybe came over, like a, like a like an ancestor of maybe the person who lives here. So like maybe um, that's his great-great-grandmother or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, someone who... Um, came over on like the Mayflower even. Do you familiar with the Mayflower? Have you talked about the Mayflower in school yet? No. You don't know about the Mayflower and the Pilgrims? No. And uh, Plymouth Rock? No? They don't teach you about that stuff? So Plymouth Rock is not too far from where we live. It's in Massachusetts, kind of close to Boston. And it's where it was one of the earliest places that the Europeans settled when they came over from Europe. There's a few other of them that didn't really take, but Plymouth Rock is kind of like traditionally thought of as the first one that, that stuck. So if we can visit it, 
So, like, people came over from, like, England. Oh, yeah, we can go up there, like, literally we can leave now and be there by, like, noon. If traffic's not bad. But it's where there was a big ship called the Mayflower that brought a bunch of people over from Europe. And they, they landed at Plymouth Rock in... Just outside of Boston. And they made a little colony. And then they made it so that they eventually lived here and built homes here and had kids and their kids had kids when they got old enough and it's like the really earliest settling of people in, in the country from Europe um, that's why I asked them I'm surprised they don't teach it maybe maybe next year you'll learn about it there's eight more paintings but I don't know how to describe them okay well there's two that are more flowers Right down by the harp, there's two that look like more flowers. Yeah, and then go up a little bit. Those look like um, what they call land. Yeah, yeah, landscape pictures. There you go. I said you got me saying pictures now. <laughs> landscape paintings. Uh, it's very hard to see what they're landscape paintings of, though. So your guess is as good as mine on that one. Yeah, there's definitely some, or sunrises maybe. Yeah. It's always hard to tell if it's a sunset or sunrise unless you see the motion of the sun. But yeah, someone took some some nice, made some nice paintings of, that looks like a field or a marsh, maybe, the bottom one. And the top one looks almost like, is that a, is there, are those houses? Is there a barn and a house? It's hard to tell if that's what that is or if it's just the way the trees are, the shape of the trees. I don't know. And then, all right, so what's the next painting of? This is something we haven't had yet. Um, this is a picture. Painting. Looks like a little kid, a little little girl maybe, a little blonde haired little girl, or even a baby. I don't know if you'd call it a baby or a toddler, but she has like a funny hat. I say she, it could be a he, but it looks it looks like a she. She has like a funny hat on. Why don't you describe the hat? What's the hat look like? Go back over to that one. It's like a blue hat. It's like a blue hat. Yeah, it's kind of a weird thing for a baby to actually have, right? All right, so then let's start start with the top left. What's up the top left of these? There's four paintings on this wall. Two are big, two are small. The top. Uh, yeah, some uh, some fruits. Yeah, and then there's some watermelon on the left. I mean, right. On the right is another picture of a watermelon. Yeah. Okay. And then these and two then big picture uh, paintings. God, Lee, you got me saying pictures now. And then there's a violin. A violin. And some what? What's that behind it? Uh, like notes. Like maybe like music sheet with some notes, some music notes on it. And what's what else is on there? There's other stuff on there. Look at the detail of that one. That's a great painting. That's oh. something that you would do with all those details. What else is on there? Top right corner of that painting has what? You won't beat our prize. A horseshoe. There's like a flute. And it looks like a little flute. And I don't know what that other stuff is. It looks like maybe a matchbook. Matchbox. Yeah. yeah. And then on the right one, there is... There is, uh, a, I think a sniper. Sniper? Of a gun? Uh, it's not really a sniper. That's the whole gun. There's a there's a barrel, right? It's called a barrel. Yeah. And, and, then and the a stock. Trumpet. There's like a trumpet. Yeah, and there's like a dead pheasant. I don't know why there would be a trumpet and a picture of what otherwise looks like hunting stuff. Maybe that's just some gear that someone kept on them. Yeah. When they were hunting. I don't know why. I'd have to look up the history of why someone would have a trumpet. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Maybe they use the... I don't think it's a trumpet. Because it has like a circular okay. shape to it. That's That's got another name I just can't think of off the top of my head. Some kind of horn. French horn. But I don't know why someone would have a French horn while they were out hunting. All right, now where are we? We have... What room? You went into another room. The dining room. The dining room with a dining table. How many place settings are there? Count all the chairs. One, two, three. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. It's either what? A big family or maybe they're having a bunch of people over for a dinner party? Yeah. We'll it would explain why they pushed the chairs to the side in the other room. Maybe after dinner they were going to do some dancing. Yeah. And then in here... Where's here? Like, maybe walk through. Kind of a 
before we got to the back door. Yeah. Right? We're in, a, we're in a different room now. So say yeah. I, you know, I walked into a different room. I'm by the back of the mansion now, and there is a what? Water fountain. Water fountain. What's the lady doing? Something. Looks like that might be where the water comes out, out of the jug that she's holding. Yeah. What does she have? Does she have a hat on, or is that her arm over her head? Another fireplace. Under, under the stairs. Is that under the stairs? Nope. Yeah. Under the stairs of the main room, there's another fireplace. So that's our, that's the third fireplace we've seen. Let's see what's fireplace. That's not a bad idea. Try and count them all. I bet you there's some upstairs too. Yeah. Then there's some more paintings. Some more paintings. Lots of paintings, lots of flowers. This person likes flowers. And like plants. And plants. Up where? Uh, um, we're in the main room. And and up the stairs in the main stairs. room, yeah. And then we hey, Braytech, how's it going? Braytech says hi. Hi, Braytech. Um, and then... Oh, Avery said hi, too, did you hear? <laughs> Avery said hi, Braytech, from the other room. <laughs> She's watching, uh, Bebe Finn. But she heard me say hi, Braytech. She said hi, Braytech. And Coco Melon. That's right, she got Coco Melon on the TV. Alright, go ahead with your. Keep going with your. We're doing a tour of the mansion on Sunday. I'm out getting coins, but Morgan's this giving is us an audio great, tour great, of the. Great, 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 great wow, really? Or is he. He must be from, like, England somewhere. Yep. Did he stay over there, or did he come to the country, too? This is his brother. That's his brother? That he does not talk to. Why doesn't he talk to him? I don't know. You don't know? Who's this lady? His sister or his mom? I think it's his mom. Gotcha. Would like to be his wife? Yeah, maybe. This is my study. No, look what I found. It's not lit, but there's another fireplace there. On your left. Nope, nope. Other way, other way. Turn back around. Right there. That, that's a fireplace. Yeah. So there's four. I bet you there's more than four too. That's only the fourth one we've found. I bet there's more. Why does the horse run away? I bet you're right. I bet I'm right. You found a fifth one. That one's lit. Nice. Not lit. Like it's cool. Like it's actually burning. Got another airhead set this morning. Nice. And then we have, we I'm assuming you got that while you're trying to do your dailies. I have this. So, like, this is where I hand out for, like, family readings and stuff. Yeah, so there's, like, what? A little <laughs> table, a little coffee table. Yeah. With a couple chairs and a bench. A yep. uh, three-seater bench. Oh, that room's locked. Where are you going now? Do you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice man. GG's. Just, literally just started looking for coins not too long ago. Uh, I've been t taking it kind of slow today, but it's, what, an hour and 40 minutes since we started the stream? Yeah, hour and 40 minutes since we started the stream. And dailies are done. We're looking for, well, roll dailies are done. We're looking for some hideouts or something I can shoot some hats off. The fanciest room of the house? The fanciest room of the house? No, it's not. It's probably the least fancy room of the house. Yeah, I said it. Oh, you said not the fanciest. It's it's but it's where a lot of work happens in there. Oh, look at that. Take that. You don't want that for your horse? What? It's a carrot. Oh. Yeah. This isn't just I stuff to look at in that. here, huh? Mandy. Mandy. Did you name your horse Mandy? Careful what you do. you're putting that there. You're gonna hit this button and it's gonna log you out. Don't do that. You got all your data on today? Nice. Yeah, I'm probably gonna try to get all mine done. I'm in my point two five week. Uh, I didn't do too many dailies over the weekend, working on a ton of Forbidden West stuff. I, 
uh, finished story mode again at like 1 o'clock in the morning. I, I defeated uh, Spectre Prime for, I don't know, fifth, sixth time at this point. But I got a video I'm working on, so I'm just trying to capture cutscene footage. Um, but anyway, long story short, I didn't do a ton of dailies over the weekend, so I'm trying to get caught up on my uh, making sure I do all seven general dailies for that award. Yeah, going upstairs again. Yeah, Forbidden West, man. I, f I forgot how much I love it. I love it so much. I didn't even, like, I kind of spammed story this time. I did a few side quests here and there just to rank uh, the health up. But for the most part, I, I mean, I, I was playing a story setting, so the combat wasn't too difficult. So once I got to, like, rank 30, I just spammed the, the rest of the final three missions. Um... Which was funny, because I figured I would have enough health to beat Spectre Prime, but then I was running out of acid arrows, so <laughs> I didn't, have, you know, it didn't like rank up my pouches or anything like that. Um, I didn't, I didn't do any crafting upgrades, which I really, I should have. Um, but now that I'm done, I kind of want to go through and play all the rest of the side quests and get like Aloy all the way ranked up, and then I'm gonna do Burning Shores again. Uh, at some point, probably in the next couple weeks here, I would I would like to take another crack at playing Burning Shores. I, I finished it, but I never got all the videos uploaded to my channel, so capture a bunch of new gameplay footage and maybe look at doing a little Burning Shores series. Go ahead, Morgan. I know you're chomping at the bit. So, so we had five fireplaces. Five fireplaces. Yeah, we have six. Got a sixth one. And seven. And seven. Okay. What about on the backs of those? Are there are there any more on the backs of those fireplaces? Because remember that other one had two. Like it was uh, one on the front and one on the back. Okay, not here because that's the stairs. But what about the other side? What about on the other one? Yeah. No. So what are we up to? Seven. Seven fireplaces? That's crazy. We only have two. Okay, you can try. Oh my gosh. Faceplant. Oh, she, look at the cut on her chin. Ouch. Dude, you got... That was, that was a tough fall. You almost died from that. You're, what, um... I can't believe your character doesn't have full health yet. I wonder why that is. You can do some fishing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's, now she's outside. She's in the back fountain. It did work. Uh, oh, you're going somewhere with the Why long nose. Because you just hurt yourself. It's washing the blood that you got on yourself. Why don't you go see if you can find Barbie? Since you always ask me. Do you remember where she is? Where she was? Yeah? Follow it, follow it, follow it. <laughs> I actually need water snake samples. That's one thing I'm really lacking on. If I were there right now, I'd sedate it and try to get a sample of it. But it's in the water too deep, just like they always are. Which is why I don't bother. Too much of a hassle. Lake Don Julio. Oh, you guys go on land. Look at you. What are you shooting it with? Oh, shoot it again. You got. You can see that. Sample it. It's actually cotton mouth, which I don't need. Oh, he's going back in the water. No, you sedated it. Take a sample. Revive it. 
Uh, square, hold square to take the sample. And then hold triangle to revive it. And that'll get you some naturalist XP, which is good. Keep ranking that naturalist up slowly but surely. 10 XP at a time for using. <laughs> but you added it to your field guide, that's cool. Yeah, I get that. Oh no! Uh, did it? Ha did you happen to notice whether it had to do with your placement? Like, if you placed top three, is there a little bit of a bonus XP? What are you shaking your head at? Hmm? Wasn't even talking to you. Probably you, <laughs> running around in that water. <laughs> no idea. It's probably just random, dude. <laughs> That's weird that it wasn't the same. I had to actually submit it. Uh, we didn't talk about this yet. I had to submit a support ticket. Not because I really care about the 5,000 XP coupon, but I just, I don't know. I hate myself. So they came back the first time and they were like, uh, what dailies did you complete? So I was like, well, since you asked... <laughs> I listed out all seven dailies I did last Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So there's 21 dailies there. And then I talked about how I did all roll challenges those days too. So I told them basically I did 48 dailies and just stop questioning me and give me my stuff. <laughs> and they were like, what stuff? What rewards? I'm like, dude, the rewards that you guys offer, in your, I swear to people who work in support, Rockstar support don't know how the game actually works, which is weird to me. Like, I'm not saying that you need to hire someone who's like a really good video game player to be on your support staff, but they should probably have an idea of how the game works. Like, if you're if you're gonna work for Rockstar support, you probably should dabble a little bit in like GTA and and Red Dead. I, I don't know. It seems like that would be part of the interview process. Like, how much do you know about our games that you're going to be helping people with? But no, they don't. They don't have a clue. Like, I get the feeling the person was like, "What's a newswire?" <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I guarantee you, it's it's totally just random. Rockstar doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Classic. But so anyway, I'm currently waiting for someone at tier 2 oh to provide me with my 5,000 XP. Which I don't really need, but I earned it, so I want them to provide it. First Royal Baron, you did, you got 2,000 XP. Did another one, you only got 1,700. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder what drives, if there's really anything that drives that. You find Barbie yet? I don't want to. They don't want to. What are you doing? I'm trying to find where I'm at. Keep going, follow that blue line. You could try to come and meet up with me? You want to come meet up with me? You didn't have to do that. I'm in, you're going armadillo? Yeah, that's a good spot to go. I'm pulling an armadillo right now, you can see it in the distance. You got the same three coupons for XP, but no so Yeah, it's weird. I don't understand. Like I said. I've, I've gotten rewards before in the past, like a trophy, or a treasure map, for not actually doing anything. So I can't complain too much about it, but it was interesting that when I opened the ticket, they were like, tell us what daily you did. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I actually went back to my live streams and just happened to look at what the dailies were that day. I sent them a screenshot and everything of me completing all seven and all nine on Thursday, so. 
I don't understand why it takes so long. Just issue the 5,000 XP, you know? Uh, cause the, whenever you fast travel with Armadillo, it's likely to do that. Armadillo is like a weird fast travel spot. Armadillo. Yeah, I know what you meant. But yeah, it's it's weird. So an obsidian arrowhead in that box over there if you want to grab it. Take out your metal detector. Okay. Well, I'm going up here. And then back down here, because it's the only way to get to here. You gotta go all the way around. But yeah, Rockstar gonna Rockstar, you know? Dead Eye still drains. If you're in Dead Eye like that, it'll still drain. Got to eat something to get your Dead Eye back. Shot with your vomit rifle, you could have got kept the three stars, or we got more feathers. But that's fine. Hold, pluck, hold triangle. There you go. You know, guys. Uh, the next king of the castle will be around noon for me, so two hours from now. Oh, ambush! Uh, I need to do this so I can get some hat shots. <laughs> Shots. What was the other one? Oh, Max gun. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that done today. Well, not. I should say not get that done today. I'm not gonna get that done with this. Travel to camp while I was doing this? Yeah. That's weird, usually. I won't let you do that kind of stuff if I'm in contact, but that's fine, I won't go. You think you're done for the day? Alright, put yourself in the catalog. Bye guys. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys see the solar eclipse. I want it to be so cool. Yeah. Right. That only happens each 20 years. Yeah, well, thereabouts. 
This one hasn't happened like this in forever. Like, I think I was your age. Something like this happened. Where it comes so close to where we are. Oh, no. We're gonna do. You're gonna watch your pad for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Can't pick this one up. All right. Good job. Okay. I'll come see you in a little bit. Okay. All right. Uh, I would prefer that you not. Okay. All right. That's Morgan. Maybe she'll join me again Friday, during Friday stream. I gotta look at the calendar though. Oh yeah, I do have your corkle still. You never even used it, go figure. <laughs> You'll have to see. Uh, tomorrow will be interesting. Be flying solo. The, uh, they should be leaving around 9 a.m., so I might start like an hour later than usual, but because it's just going to be me, probably go for a while. I might even try to do like a 12-hour stream. Might need a break here and there in order to eat, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to promise anything just yet. And then Wednesday, we go for a while, too. We just need to be able to find enough content to, to, <laughs> to go with. Um, so yeah, the rest of the week, it's going to be, it's gonna be a little bit of a different week this week. Probably have Morgan join me again on Friday for a little bit, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday streams are going to be longer than usual, so. I think. Anyway. Hopefully the game gives us enough to do for that long. Capitale. <laughs> That's right. I got some capitale. Hey, Sakuma, how's it going? I did a little, little capitale off that guy. I have not done a coin search since the last time I streamed Thursday. Um, so we're we're due. We're like past due some some good coins, but I didn't get a chance to play much this weekend. I was focused on other things, and when I was finally playing some video game stuff, I was doing a lot of Forbidden West stuff. So um, I think I did like three dailies yesterday and logged out. I think Saturday I did two dailies. Yeah, my downtime when I'm not streaming recently has been really focused around Forbidden West. And that's probably what I'll do here in a little bit once I'm done streaming today. Definitely jump in and do probably do some editing first more than anything else. I got seven hours of gameplay footage to go through from yesterday's session, and then maybe later tonight I'll do some side quest stuff. But yeah, this is uh, getting a little frustrating with the lack of rare coins. I think we're still.
still at 39 or whatever. Yeah. Still at 39. I should take a look when we get landed over here at some of the other pinned items I've got right now. See if we can't find uh, something to complete. I just heard a bunch of guys yelling. So this is going to be a rescue of the stranger. I don't really want to do this. So we'll just keep riding unless it stops me. What do you think you're doing here? Already? These guys are going to follow me, aren't they? I think we've done this before where we've tried to skip this and they just keep following. Yeah. Alright, I mean, if that's what they want to do, I need throwing knife kills now. So. Let's take a look. Pin. I need melee weapon and executions, really. I shouldn't be using throwing knives just yet. Yeah, not too many things pinned. We just, we literally just pinned that butcher thing, and we're not even close. But we had like 16, 17, 18 items pinned last week. Now we're down to 10, so I just kind of go to show. I, I knew there was a bunch of those things that were all going to come to a head at once. And it did. I think we reset eight awards last week. Throughout the week.
Okay, Gold Eagle. I think that's our second of those. So, that's good. Moving in the right direction. Maybe we got two of those now. No, not progress. By the L in planes. Random metal detector spot. If we don't find a maximum gun, I may not do the showdowns today. can always do like Ember of the East or there's a few like legendary bounties you can jump into to do them but I don't know I'm not necessarily pressed for time today but the kids home kind of got you know different priorities than usual Fool's gold. All right. Over by the R here in Great Plains. Designate the coin spot. Let's see what we get. Alright, up here by the fallen tree. Uh, right here. But it's under the fallen tree, technically. Let's skip that roadblock for today.
Second best with Trader last night, 78. Wow, dang, dude. Trade route. Freedom event. I'm curious, do you remember what the XP was for that? Since they're paying out four times, I imagine you got pretty good XP payout. To Owenjila Dam. This is a coin. Will it be a coin we need? Who knows? At least it won't be an arrowhead. <laughs> or a piece of jewelry. Or an heirloom. Second time out by Owen Gila today. We were over here earlier for the duck eggs. If I had realized there was a coin here, I would have pulled it then. But oh well. Come out for the duck eggs and for the bird or grew, which we could have got at the anywhere along the Dakota River, but we had to come out here for the duck eggs, so. On the path, there's a random metal detector spot, so we'll check that. Hey Jose, how's it going? Welcome.
You're doing great. Glad to hear it. Appreciate you swinging by. Just doing a little coin search right now. Heading up to Devil's Cave actually has a coin in it today. Really just kind of roaming around. I've been all over the Yeah, we're trying to find some coins, but we're also trying to find some trouble to get into. <clears throat> Poacher mission. I'll skip that one. Really looking for a hideout that has a maximum gun for our maximum gun kills. Be nice to get that in free room. And then we can head into showdowns at the end of the stream, but I don't know if we don't get the maximum gun kills. I may not be motivated to go into showdowns either. Let's see how I feel. Oh, I got him still. That's hilarious. Maybe without the paint. Why? Painted black is terrible with throwing weapons. Like, it's not painting at all. Even though I'm putting the. Like, why isn't it. Come on, man. They're literally killing me. His face. That's not working. You lost your mind. Anybody else notice that with painted black? Looks like I have uh, a different card on. But I don't, I don't think I do. I know we talked about switching cars today, but no, I left paint black on. What the hell's up with that? Maybe it's just the throwing knives. I'll have to try the tomahawks again. Did I ever pick one back up? I think I have two. Yeah, maybe we'll do those next time. That's weird, though. Why would it be any different for throwing knives? You've had you've seen that before, and then it what? It like came back next session. It was fine or whatever. I 
I guess that means we'll just have to stick with the tomahawks. Or in rare cases, we'll use some fireballs. I think the new rule is going to be, if they're on foot, we'll tackle them and execute them. So we get the uh, melee, or, uh, yeah, melee and execution awards going. And if they're on horses, let's use tomahawk or some other throwing weapon. It'd be nice if painted black would work, though, with throwing knives. Just painting revenue agents while your moonshine wagon, your navies would fire. Interesting. So it's not just the throwing, or just the throwing knives. I mean, if I had to be a little weird, like. On an enemy, when I felt like it should have painted, and but that was just like one enemy. This was, I mean, it was clearly not painting on any of those guys. The last guy couldn't have been any more centered on his head, <laughs> so that's definitely a little buggy there. That's great, they fixed the stable bug, but now painted block doesn't work properly. <laughs> great, <laughs> thanks, Rockstar. What did my horses jump over? Yeah. Clear Roblox with the. Oh, Alright, so same thing as what uh, Chris is saying. Specific to Moonshine. Revenue agents on, in both your cases. Not so with mine, but still, it's interesting. Something to keep an eye on, for sure. Maybe, like I said, maybe log out, log back in. It'll correct itself, but... Here we go, that's a good example. There's a road blocked down there now. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll test it out if that doesn't despawn. Let's grab this coin. I mean, that's how it's going to be. I'll just freaking put on slow and steady. <laughs> At least that way I won't be taking damage as I'm trying to get headshots. Actually, is headshots with a throwing weapon even a thing, or is it just straight throwing weapon? Let me see. Melee weapon, throwing weapon. I still gotta do sniper, too. Sniper stuff. Uh, kill enemies with a throwing weapon. Yeah, there's no headshot throwing weapon. Which is probably a good thing. <laughs> Could you imagine? 10,000 headshots with a throwing weapon? to you freaking forever. Let me see if I, if I get the same thing going on with the tomahawks here. Because that... Revenue agent roadblock did stay over there. And I wish I could carry more than three. 
I wish we carried 10 like in the Halloween CTAs. When you grab the beast mask. Run turkey, run for your life. There's men with guns here. See that, didn't paint. I it did. This would be like 50 50 at this point. I'm gonna go through so many tonics doing this melee crap. Seems to be painting pretty good. Hi Avery. What are you doing? Hello? Loop. Okay. <laughs> you finished ya hick. I like the way that dialogue line is read too, he almost sounds like he's like asking a question. finished you hick and I'm like are you questioning whether or not I'm a hick or are you questioning whether or not I'm finished either way you're wrong the answer is no <laughs> my hat go I seem to have misplaced my hat I thought I saw it Can't loot that guy because he's crispy. There it is. Woohoo! Alright, let's head over to my Wallace. Random metal detector spot. Right into the rising sun here. Love it. This area is so cool, man. So yeah, I want to make sure I'm starting to put a little more added emphasis on 
throwing weapons in melee, but I don't want to lose sight of the sniper rifle stuff either. So, maybe tomorrow, with a uh, longer stream, we can get into more sniper rifle stuff. I'm not sure what takes longer, sniping or doing like what I just did there, with throwing weapons in melee. Either way, both take longer than shotgun headshots, which we're done with, but it was kind of nice how quickly those went when you were actually using a gun. Maybe eventually I'll get there with a sniper rifle and be as quick with it, but I doubt it. But... Throwing weapons and melee, we're gonna be saving ourselves even more money. Not having to buy, not that ammo is expensive in this game, but not having to buy hardly any of it will definitely help me get to 3 million. <laughs> 2.15. Another 800,000 or so. 900,000. I don't know, maybe eventually we'll get 3 million, but I feel like it's going to take a while. Such as I spend all that money on all that clothing back in November. And I haven't really been doing stuff that makes a ton of money. Like, yeah, I'm collecting, and if you get sets and stuff like that, it helps, but I haven't been paying as much attention to my moonshine. I haven't been doing as many trader deliveries. It's been pretty much all collecting, specifically coin collecting, but who knows, maybe eventually we'll get there. This is going to be a random metal detector spot. Up there by, what the hell? Does she just activate that? Or did it activate automatically because she's at camp? So dumb. One of the horses must have rode close enough to the camp. I hate that stupid. Out by uh, the Emerald Moonshine Shack. Yeah. It activated because she's over at camp. Which is so dumb. But whatever. Ten minutes will pass. Uh, I, yeah, it could, I, I think I would probably be more inclined to say yes if Dan Hauser was still with the company, and who knows how much of it was already in development before he left, because as far as, like, the story goes, I think it will appeal to some people more than others, but I don't think overall, no, I, you know, I don't, I, I I think it'll be a good story. I think GTA 5 is a good story. I think GTA 4 is a good story. Um, but I don't think the um, the way GTA is played and, and the things GTA does well, I don't think lends itself to as good of a story as Red Dead does. The, the thing about Red Dead is... They draw you in with how chill it is, right? Like, I told the story before, but coming off of playing Spider-Man, swinging around Manhattan at 90 miles an hour on webs and, and going to playing this, where it was like, okay, we're stuck in the snow. The horses are not moving quickly. If you stray too far from camp, there's a major blizzard. Like, that was cool to me. And I, it's a preference thing. It's an opinion thing. But I think they, that was a huge draw. Like, a lot of the, like, action and stuff, the way, the way they wrote it, right? If you look at the way each chapter kind of, like, builds and then settles back in once you reach the next chapter location. Then builds and then settles. I don't think they can do that with GTA. Nor should they. I don't think that they, sh they should have to. I think GTA should be, you know... Guns blazing right from the start, you know. Um, I think it's going to be tough for them to do. Uh, I think it would be tough for them to have two goats of story mode back-to-back -back, uh, story games. 
but we'll see. It looks it looks promising. I mean, if you're into GTA, I think it, you know that trailer, that first trailer hits on all the buttons, right? You got the uh, protagonist that's kind of like in dire straits, and you got all the crazy nonsense that apparently it was a bunch of clips from actual Florida residents, which I think is awesome. Like the chick on you know twerking on top of the car and the, the dudes with the uh, dirt bikes and, and quads and stuff like that. You know, I, think the, I just I don't know. I think it's it's got a lot of promise, but I thought Starfield had a lot of promise too, and it didn't necessarily deliver in the way I thought it would. Is it going to be a game changer again? Probably, we'll see. I'm curious to see what kind of functionality they add. <laughs> one last chain. <laughs> I'll be curious to see what quotes we're saying from that one. I mean, people still use the, all you had to do was catch a damn train, CJ, <laughs> from San Andreas, right? I think we'll end up at a point where some people will will debate it, you know, even after the game is out for a while. I think some people will say that GTA 6 is better, story-wise. I would say that they would be wrong, but they're entitled to their opinion, too. I'm just looking forward to, to something new and different from Rockstar, you know. I hope it's worth it, because they, I feel like... If, if the price of them abandoning Red Dead Online for like two years or two and a half years, whatever it's been, is that GTA 6 is amazing, then maybe I can overlook some of the stuff that they did. I'll never forgive them completely, but... We'll see. It's probably the next game that's like kind of on my radar. I was looking the other day. Um, someone posted on Twitter a picture of the four big games that are coming later this year. And I was kind of like, not really interested in any of those. Although, it's going to be a travesty. If I don't play that Star Wars game, like, it's literally called Outlaws. <laughs> like, I feel like i got to at least give it a try, right? But no, at this point, I'm perfectly content... Catch up on the backlog, which I kind of been doing, right? I played Red Dead 1. I played Prince of Persia. Those are two games I really wanted to play this year. Get caught up on those. And now I'm kind of replaying stuff. And I could see, I could foresee myself not only replaying Forbidden West, but replaying Zero Dawn, replaying Ghost of Tsushima, replaying the first God of War game. Like, I've got um, an idea for, like, a video series. And I don't want to say too much. It's going to take me a really long time to do each one of those. Because i got to capture all the footage for it. But, um, I, I honestly could see myself maybe not playing any more new games this year. I know that sounds crazy because we're only in April. We'll have to see, like, maybe there'll be a surprise game that no one was expecting that's really good that I might check out and, and upload to the channel. But for now, it's like, my, my downtime is going to be dedicated to... I have a couple more videos, uh, Prince of Persia videos I want to post. And then, like I, like I said, work on this Forbidden West Zero Dawn, Ghost of Tsushima. Maybe even replay Red Dead 2 again, even though I just did it. Like, the story mode. So. I think I'm going to be busy the rest of the year probably replaying a lot of these old games I enjoy. I say old games are like five, six years old, but still. The two best two-story writers no longer work at Rockstar. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't. I think that's the biggest hang-up for me. Um, you know, I think losing Dan and Leslie Benzies, and even don't discount like the loss of Laszlo. Like I'm an audio guy. I'm a music guy. That's a huge thing. You know, all these different like uh, songs and everything. Like. Uh, I don't know. I just I, I 
I don't think the music's going to be as good. I think it, I, it's going to probably have a real different feel to it. And a lot of people, like I, I mentioned this the other day, last time we were talking about GTA, I think a lot of people who are not in the know and don't realize that those head guys left from those departments, crucial, critical departments in my opinion, people are going to play the game and be like, why does GTA feel so different? They're not going to know why. We'll know. But, yeah, I'm inclined to agree with JR that the fact that Hauser and Benzies and Lazlo left is going to be a huge deal. Not, not a good thing. Happy to be wrong, though. Happy to be wrong. I don't want to see it fail. But, and I think for me personally, like just where I'm at, as much as I love GTA and came up on GTA, and I'm probably only playing video games today because GTA 3 brought me out of my dark ages from playing video games, I do think that they're uh, potentially on the decline. <laughs> he spent two billion on it. That wasn't you heard about the rumor is that all you do is ride somewhere and something goes wrong, or the game takes too long. Yeah, I don't. I, I I'll never understand that. Like, if I can pay sixty bucks and spend five hundred hours in a game, versus paying sixty bucks and only spending thirty hours in a game, uh, I'm gonna incline to say that the game I spent five hundred hours in is better. Like, I don't like what what does too long mean? Like, it's it's enjoyable. Are there some things I don't think like for me? It's not perfect. It's probably a 9.9, .9, and I can literally point to like the stuff on Gorma, and maybe like the come down from moving from chapter six to the epilogue. Like there are some, there's some parts that are a little bit of a miss. Like obviously the epilogue ends up paying off in a big way, but when you first get to Pronghorn, man, I don't remember playing a game or any kind of other entertainment medium where uh, the air gets sucked out of the balloon so quickly. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> but... And then there are there is some interesting stuff, like one of my biggest complaints about it, and I, and I say it kind of like tongue-in-cheek, like none of their plans ever go according to plan. So by the time you get to like the 70th, 70th round of that, you're not wondering... If the plan will be their original plan will be successful, you're wondering how it's going to go wrong. Like, how will this get screwed up? Like, I, I specifically remember sitting there on the dock in Annisburg as Dutch is talking to Cornwall, going, "Okay, well, this is going to be a shit show in three seconds." And sure enough, he takes out his gun and kills Cornwall. I'm like, "Here we go!" Just like I, it almost became a little too predictable at that point, you know. Um, but that does that's you know. I think that just was that was done purposefully. Like they wanted you just to see how bad the game got, or the gang rather got at planning these scores. But I also didn't need it pounded in my head. By like chapter four, I was like, okay, these people are <laughs> not very good at what they do. They're great at getting out of the jams once they put themselves in it, but their their score planning was pretty poor. And it makes you wonder just how they <laughs> got to where they were in the first place. But at the end of the day, it's all in good fun, and, and for me, it's you know, it's still like I like I say all the time. I don't know if it's my favorite game of all time, but that's only because it's impossible to compare to like the older games, like Mario and Zelda, and uh, you know, during my during during its heyday and my sports game heyday, like. Madden. Some of those are older Maddens. 2004 era Madden are amazing. And then they haven't changed in 20 years. So now that game's dropped off too. But it's up there. This, this game is if not best, definitely top 3, top 5 range. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm not a big fan of the shorter games. I, I'll be honest. Like, and I say shorter games. Like, I, my barber one time was talking about the game she was playing. She's like, "Yeah, it's great." It was I'm like, um, she only plays for like an hour a day. So for her, something that's like ten hours or, or less can still be great. And I'm like, well, I don't know if I'm if I'm putting out sixty bucks for a game. And for me, it's not so much the length of the game; it's the length of the game with how much I paid for it. So again, like, I paid seventy bucks for this game. Definitely got my money's worth. Um, I've paid played other games where I paid like thirty, forty bucks and been like, eh, it's kind of disappointing. It was only ten hours. To me, it shouldn't like a ten hour game should only be like twenty bucks. But I'm not one of those people that's like, you know. So I, th I think my biggest complaint is not so much about games being too long. It's like there are a lot of them are filled with a lot of bloat. It's like even like replaying Forbidden West, which I love. The main story is great, but there's a million different side quests. And some of them are very good, very well done. And some of them are not so well done. And I think, you know, Gorilla had to do it that way because... You need the side quests in order to get enough XP in order to rank up your you know, character enough to get Aloy's health up enough because you cannot take on Spectre Prime with your health being too low. Um, the final boss is, is Spectre Prime, but yeah, they. Uh, that's that's my biggest thing is I want my money's worth, and I thought you know in the case of I it's been a while since I felt like I haven't gotten my money's worth. Uh, Red Dead One, even though it was not a remaster, it was basically just a port. I paid, I think, 40 bucks for it and spent about 50 hours playing it, like 100%ing it. So I'm saying that's a, that's a win. Um, going back maybe a little further with Assassin's Creed Origins, same thing. I think I paid like 30 bucks, got about 35, 40 hours out of it, 100%ed it, platinumed it. So I feel like I got my money's worth. And then with Prince of Persia, that was a great little surprise hit that I don't think I paid more than 30 bucks for. And again, I paid played about 50, 60 hours. So um, was I ready to rage quit and throw my controller at that game? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, I had a lot of fun. You know, the biggest thing with that game was those platforming sections where it was like, you know, you could spend an hour and then like you're still doing it because you keep failing your character keeps falling and dying or, or resetting back because they got hurt whatever it's one of those kinds of games um but i do i feel like i got my money's worth so i don't think it's so much for me it's not so much the length of the game it's just the length of the game depending on how much money i spent on it if i spent 70 bucks on a game and played 10 hours i'd be pissed i'd be like this game wasn't worth it <laughs> She's shooting their way out, yeah. Luckily, they were all expert marksmen. Uh, so, I used to do commentary in my gameplay videos, and it's something that I constantly debate on. I think the number one reason is just I don't have a soundproof, secure area. So, like, I noticed in one of my uh, video series, I forget it was Forbidden West. Like, you can hear the dog's collar shaking in the background every two minutes, every time he scratches himself or whatever, or he gets up to walk around. Sometimes he jumps off the couch. He's a big dog, so it makes a lot of noise in the background. So ultimately, it comes to, like, um, I won't say lack of audio quality, but, like, uh, maybe that's the word I'm looking for. And, and really, um, lately, I haven't been doing it because I feel like a lot of times when you listen to someone play a game and they are commenting the whole time, it's almost like you develop the same opinion that they develop about the game. So in my case, it's like, I'll let the game speak for itself as I'm playing those games. And, you know, I think a lot of people like that. I think, they're, you know, it's an, it's an underrated uh, game way of doing those long playthroughs you know like i don't go wrong I, one of the first ones i ever followed on youtube was rad brad and, and listening to his commentary not only was it like oh this is funny because at the time he was terrible at playing games but also like his commentary was usually pre pretty funny he would say like off the wall stuff <laughs> it, would be, it would be funny so I think there's appeal for both and there's appeal for you know people adding commentary to it but 
I think I would struggle to add my commentary and not also give my opinion. Uh, and we saw that with Forbidden West. There were there was some stuff um, at the end of the Burning Shores DLC. I don't want to give anything away from because I played it, but you know it was almost like um, if you objected even at all to. Aloy developing a relationship people were like oh you're just a uh, homophobe or whatever and I was like no I just think she has bigger priorities like saving the world <laughs> from these enemies that she probably doesn't have the time to develop a relationship so there was a lot of hatred being spewed around both ways from from both sides towards the end of that that I was like you know what I'm just gonna like keep my opinion out of it from now on like, if I want to share my opinion on a game I, I can do it here or I can do it in um, you know I, I may even start doing videos where that's all I do is just like you know do like one playthrough that's almost like a walkthrough style playthrough where I'm just playing it without voiceover and then later on once I'm done after the fact kind of share my opinion because the other thing that happens too is sometimes you form early opinions on things and then later it changes and then it almost you almost sound like an idiot <laughs> you know you almost sound like you're walking it back as you go through the playthrough so i've done it before i've done i've done voiceover and commentary in, in my playthroughs and i just i'm not in the same place where i think that that's as important or as well as as what I want to do for my channel versus what I've done in the past. You know, going forward, it probably will just be me just playing the game and not talking over it. Also, I'm big on immersion in games, and I feel like it's it's twofold. One is me talking and commenting on it to people who aren't actually there takes me out of the immersion of my initial playthrough, which is a huge L for me. And then also, I feel like I guess you could mute it on your on your end, but then you can't hear the gameplay I guess I don't know the, the people who are watching the video it kind of takes them out of the immersion of the game too to hear me or whoever else constantly talking over the top of it it's a good question though and obviously hopefully from my long-winded answer you can tell I've thought about it a lot <laughs> I've thought about it quite a bit not as much fun as you thought, you dumb bastard. Oh, he moved.
We are having another rough day with these coins. It really does seem like they're they come in bunches. Which is unfortunate, man. You just gotta freaking keep grinding it out. Star Panther. Save this for tomorrow. Coin spot. Freaking seven ninety two nickel.
Ah, uh, the payouts are terrible. And nine times out of ten, they take you in the wrong way, wrong wrong direction. From from what you're trying to do. So like this one, he would have had to go to Rhodes, and not, I mean, I'll go to Rhodes later, but the plan, the pathway mapped out is to not go to Rhodes yet. If the payouts were better, I would consider it. But you just kill him, loot him. I would have ignored him completely, but we kind of rode right through there, and I wanted to get some, some throwing weapon kills, so... At some point, once I'm done with a lot of this other these other awards, and, and Bounty Hunter is probably like the last thing left, <laughs> I might start doing them a little more often, because at that point they would count towards an award I'm working on, but... Yeah, that's just, I mean, there's enough distractions as it is with hideouts and campground defenses and everything else. It's just, I think it's better just to kill these guys and go about doing what you were doing. Well, I should start taking the dead bodies with me. I think that'd be funny. People would freak out. The dead body in the back of the horse. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, the chance at getting a uh, collectible, right? I mean, when you can loot them either way, you don't have to kill them to loot them. But um, yeah, in most cases with these free roam, these bodies that spawn in free roam like this, uh, to get a collectible, it's a better payout than what you might get for trying a minute. And I, I tried to get guys before you get like 130 XP and like three bucks. Not worth it in my opinion. Gen X, how's it going? Welcome, howdy. Yeah, in one year it changed. Everybody's also carrying more cash on them. In 1899. The freaking amount of money you can loot in story mode is insane compared to online. My guy's so hungry. Alright, we'll go over to Butcher Creek area. Beaver Mine has a coin at it today. We got about 12 more of these things to check. We'll see if we can get it done. Probably gonna stop. If not, right at noon, shortly after. Yeah. So, it's about an hour from now. 45 minutes to an hour from now. Make sure I get these kids fed. It's not just me today, so. I'm sure they're gonna need to be have some lunch. <laughs> Whereas normally I would just skip lunch. Yeah, everything's gone. Harriet's gone. Gus apparently abandons all his stalls. The trapper moves in. <laughs> no Madame Nazar. No more Moonshine Shack. Every Moonshine Shack just closes down. <laughs> That's funny. I always tell people, like, you kind of have to think that, like, online and story just exist in two different parallel dimensions and that online works like Groundhog Day.
thundering, lightning during this rainstorm. We were talking about that the other day, how I felt like I hadn't been seeing as much thunder and lightning in the game. But here's one. Alright, up to, speaking of Gus, just past Gus, up here. This guy's up here, huh? Another one. Guy's going complete opposite direction, man. Trying to go north and around Roanoke Ridge. This guy wants to go to La Gras. <laughs> so. I mean, maybe one of these days after we're done with coin search type stuff, we'll just ride around and start delivering those people wherever they want to go. I'll start doing all the dynamic events versus skipping a bunch of them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> My millionaire character and all the other philanthropist millionaire Red Dead characters. Gus no longer needed his stall, so he retired. Maybe Harriet finally got killed in a, when an alligator turned on her. The ironic death of <laughs> the naturalist. Oh man, I'm tired too. Morgan, I think, has the right idea. I think I might take a nap this afternoon. I did not sleep well. Saturday night into Sunday was brutal. 4 a.m. I was like, no, go back to bed. <laughs> so then I finally got out of the bed at like 8 o'clock, which is rare for me. Usually I'm up by like 6 latest. And then I screwed it all up by staying up late last night to play for Moon West. So if I don't get a nap this afternoon, it's probably going to be an early bedtime tonight. Either way, I am tired. Random metal detector spot. Could get some jewelry. I hope we get a rare coin, please, and thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like she needs an ironic death for all the players she sprayed over the years. Mm, 
where am I going exactly? Is it here? Why am I all screwed up? No. It's right by the... No, it's that. Yeah. The O. That's right. Okay, I'm good now. Giant event, but I gotta skip it. I gotta get going. I gotta finish this coin search. Maybe I'll try and kick one of these guys on the way through. Hey, get yourself out of there. Oh, he's not close off the road. Get yourself out of here. And my guy's like, okay, fine. Alright, we got two here, there's one down on the right hill, and then one back the other way, down the other side. Both are random metal detectors. Oh, don't bite me. Ow! Weekly sets complete here. I may need to turn that in before the end of the stream. Be a new one tomorrow, so. Yeah, so tomorrow should be interesting. Um, like I've been talking about, pretty wide open schedule tomorrow. Could do upwards of like a 12 hour stream. But, I'm back to my point one week. So we could do dailies, but it would be more like just going through the motions. We're not going to accumulate a ton of gold doing dailies tomorrow, or at all this week really, after today. 
I do have a new treasure map that I got because it's day 28 today. So maybe do some treasure maps, but that stuff doesn't usually take that long. I don't know, you know. I don't know that we have the content for 12 hour stream like we used to. So we'll see how it goes. Um, definitely gonna get started like an hour later than usual. So around nine o'clock AM Eastern time United States. But, will I be able to go until 9 o'clock at night, tomorrow night? I don't know, it's going to be tough, because, like I said, we've got to find the content, and I've got another, other things I'm working on at the moment that are going to pull me away from doing this. We'll see. We'll see how the stream goes. and I'm not going to stop if we're having a good time, but I'm also not going to keep going if I feel like there's other stuff I can do that are better use of my time. So... It's kind of up in the air, but maybe, maybe just get a little marathon stream in tomorrow. You got to go soon. Yeah, me, me too. I'm going to be out for about another half hour or so here. I'm just going to finish out my little coin run here. Maybe one or two more distractions if we find them. There actually might be. It's daytime, so I doubt it. But we're going down to the mansion south of Van Horn. And I feel like potentially get a Blood Money Crime out of there. I haven't been seeing those Blood Money Crime missions. But again, I haven't really been playing too much either. Um, Friday went and got my head shaved and my beard trimmed, so I didn't play too much on Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday we were, we were busy pretty much all weekend. Yeah, man, don't let me keep you. I'll just let you know. I'll, I'll probably be on for at least another... Well, maybe. I say at least another 30. We have six more spots to check. And when you get over to this side of the map, they go a lot more quickly. The desert is so big and the collectibles are so spread out that it takes a while to get through there. But, yeah, I would say on average I'm pulling about 12 collectibles an hour when I do these coin runs. Maybe, maybe a little more than that. So, yeah, six collectibles, half an hour. I don't think we're going to get the maximum gun kills. And we're probably not going to get that showdown. All it is just a finish, right? It's just a finish to showdown. Gosh, it'd be nice to run into a hideout. Like, uh, down the K, run into a hideout with a, with a maximum gun at it. But I'm also not going to, like, stress out over it. So many people can piss off of Van Horn just by riding close to him. Oh, there's one guy. He's about to get run over. Bam. Got him. Next, we are finally making our way over to Rhodes. Got a couple full sets here. Stop at a post office. Do, do, 
do, do, actually, you know what I might do? I might just fast travel. Speed this process up. Let me see if we can get a camp here. Yep, just fast travel it. Fast travel. Roads. Where's the great I'll Scott guy? It was a little delayed. Alright, let's see. Full necklaces. Full earrings. And that takes away the Mad Mazar Weekly set. And I said I had a couple of them, but I, apparently I didn't. It was just the same one set over and over again. But anyway, uh, let me get some ammo. All right, Kratos, take care. Thanks for being here today. I should stop the butcher. Oh, this kind of works out. Those last three are up by Window Rock, which is where about Nazar is today. So, let me go back to Rhodes. We'll sell my stuff for the butcher here. Fast shot with a Valentine. Get these last three. All right, last three. 46, yeah, 46 and 49 at this point. So, we're going to end up at. Gosh, we're going to end up by. Wallace, no, Bacchus, well, Fort Wallace, Bacchus Station. That might actually work out too, although is there a Gatling gun at There's not a Gatling gun at that hideout. Hello, you look hungry. My goodness, Heron Plume. Okay. Cougar fan. Done. Pelican feather. Lucky this is popular, how common it is. Wolf hearts. Okay. Good cougar pelt. Good wolf pelts. Poor wolf pelt. Imperfect wolf pelts. Anything else we can hold on to either for crafting or for donations. It's the satchel. 527 to a butcher. All right, let's go to Valentine. Pleasure doing business. Head up towards Window Rock. Forest here. Check uh, hideout six point cabin. Maybe there'll be a maximum gun there. Well, there's definitely a maximum gun there if it spawns it. Maybe it'll spawn it. We'll see though. One usually spawns at night. It's 11 a.m. game time. Come on.
No, I don't see it. Dang. Can't fight nature. Hm. Can't fight my bad luck I've been having with these lately. <sighs> Look at that. Too many. Too many 17 days. It was like 1792 nickel day. I'm not surprised I got too many of them. Alright, and then actually down to window rock here. Yeah, there's the callbacks for Red Dead 1. It's pretty cool. Especially, like, I didn't realize it was a callback. <laughs> Until I started looking up clips from Red Dead 1. One seventeen ninety seven gold eagle, which I didn't really need because I have one already. It is good to see you but I guess we got two of those now, and then I gotta go up to the cave. There's a coin. All right, what have you found? You have a few of those. But if we get one of New York token or the big quarter on this last. Pull, we're still not gonna have a set today, so I pay more for the whole set, you know. Yeah, we'll call that a rough day. And it's like our third, fourth, fifth rough day in a row. Honestly, I seem to only pull these coins I need when I'm not streaming. So. <laughs> I might need to do my coin run in the morning tomorrow before I stream. Which if I do that then that definitely means no twelve hour stream tomorrow. So We'll save it. We'll suffer through. Plus, I don't want to assume I'm not going to get it. Tomorrow we're going to make. We're going to pull two. We're going to make up for today. That's going to happen. Power of positive thinking. Alright, but it's worth selling these as a set, you know. Very well. I pay more for the whole set, you know. Alright, but it's worth selling these as a set, you know. Alright, that's it for stuff we have to sell. Flight feathers. Done. Got some current. Alright, and then we'll head up to K. 
cave with the statues for our last coin spot of the day. And I'll keep an eye out as we go through. Well, Carmelin has it. I might go by this one real quick, too. Let's, th let's check that one spot. That uh, forward rise hideout will definitely have a maximum gun for us. It's not that far out of the way, so we'll give it a chance. Charlie, how's it going? Welcome. Yeah, it, it really is painful. <laughs> it does take a long time. Uh, another aspect of Forbidden West, I feel like they did really well. I'm, I'm reminded of it as I'm playing through it. It's um, even like the loot and stuff, the way the loot works. You can actually see what the enemy has on them and decide whether or not you want to grab it. So, you know, you don't run into this. You're carrying too many of this item. Like, for example, in the case of the antique alcohol bottles, maybe I want to check the revenue agent first to see what he has on him. And if he has an alcohol bottle, I'll drink the corresponding one to get rid of it. And, and then I can pull the one that he has on him and get a couple extra XP that way. That's what I do with um, a lot of like coils and, and weaves and stuff like that. Weapon coils, weapon weaves in the Horizon games is I'm constantly like, okay, this one's 3%. The one I have on is 3%, but the one that the body has, the, the dead body, dead animal, dead uh, machine even, has a 10% coil. So I'm going to swap that out for sure. But can't do that in this game. And to your point, it also takes entirely too long to do all of that. Uh, buying and selling from Nazar. Especially if you have a ton. Like I, That's why I try to stop by and see her at least once a day. If I go two or three days without seeing her, then I know eventually I'm going to start to get to that processing transaction error where it takes you know 30 seconds to like a minute for each one of them sometimes. That's what took the... Uh, that's why it took me so... Part of why it took me so long to do the... Red Dead Spendathon. That forward rise hideout was not there. So... You know... Ember of the East... Jeb Belps, <laughs> Jeb Belps, Jeb Phelps 4, 3 rather, there's only 3 parts, Jeb Phelps 3, part 3, that'll get you a maximum gun, um, there's a couple bounties that have one, it's like a random bounty out of Emerald Station that has one, uh, as far as legendary bounties, I think Carmela Montez would work, or try to get to wave 8 of a CTA, there's real, no, really no easy way to do the maximum gun thing. You just kind of got to get lucky or do one of those missions I just talked about. But there are several hideouts that have them. There's one up in Ewing Basin. There's uh, one at Coulter. So. But we looked. I mean, we may have not looked closely. I'm off of my streak of consecutive days doing all seven general anyway. I did them all last week, and I'd be lying if I didn't say the whole like not getting my reward thing kind of demotivates. And then to have Rockstar support be like, "Oh, which send us which dailies you did?" I was like, "Um, all of them from these three dates." But whatever. Come back tomorrow. We'll get all seven for sure because we're gonna have plenty of time tomorrow. It was a little short today, I feel like, for me, anyway. It's weird to say that a four-hour stream is a short stream, but when you're used to doing six hours, five, six hours every day. But the kids are off from school, they're here, i got to get them food. So we're, we're kind of focused on being a dad today. <laughs> Normally they're at school, so I can go a little longer, but 
Um, tomorrow they're going to be out with Lady Outlaws and my mom. So I said this a few times already. If, if, if you're hearing it for third time, I apologize. But should. We'll definitely get started a little later than usual. But should be able to go a lot longer than usual, too. Um, very, very high potential for a marathon stream. At least me attempting it. You know, whether or not YouTube and Sony and everything holds up, the technology holds up. But I've got the room in the schedule for a 12-hour stream. Um, I'll hold on to my treasure maps, not do those right now. So we'll see what the dailies bring. I might do a little bit of hunting, try and get a wagon ready. I know Key said she's back up and running. I don't know if she has time tomorrow, but maybe if I can get a wagon ready, we can do a wagon. Um, if people are around, maybe we can do CTA later in the stream. So we'll see. It, it could be... Uh, could be a, like a lot different day, you know, go twice as long as I normally go, do almost 12 hours, it's been a while, but the stars are lining up, <laughs> the stars are aligned for a potential marathon stream tomorrow, I'm gonna head to Moonshine Shack, we'll hit a shot and we'll get out of here, just about four hours in, right, 3.40 I think it's at, 3.39, so, we're gonna average it out tomorrow with a longer one. Might try to do a CTA too. If we can get some people in to provide support, I might try to do a CTA where I do melee and, th and throwables only. This batch is He's ready to go for tomorrow. We'll see what dailies bring for that. But yeah, let's hit it. Let's hit it and get out of here. Make sure you got your notifications on, guys, gals, so you can, you know, like I said, late start tomorrow. I don't know what time that it's going to be. So hopefully if you turn your notifications on, even if you have them on already, turn them off, turn them back on, set it to all. Make sure YouTube gets you that notification that I'm live because it's not going to be 8 a.m. tomorrow. It's not going to be usual start time. It'll be a little later. But that being said, cheers. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Much appreciate the support. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell on. Set it to all. Till next time, everyone. Take care.